to demonstrate and explain the process of shrinking a styrofoam cup in a pressure cooker. So some of the materials that we're going to be using today are a pressure cooker, a ceramic bowl, some styrofoam cups, and some cold water. Yeah. Place the pressure cooker on the gas stove. <laughs> now pour the water into the pressure cooker. Place the ceramic bowl into the pressure cooker. Don't let water go in the bowl. Place the styrofoam cup rim up onto the ceramic bowl. Lock the pressure cooker. Now start the stove and wait for it to So after turning off the stove and letting it cool down for a bit Run it under cold water. And let it let it cool down on its own under the water. And now you release the pressure and unlock it. And ta da, here we go. So, you're wondering how we get this styrofoam cup to this styrofoam cup? So, the air particles in the air pockets for this styrofoam cup are slowly colliding at a constant rate at room temperature. Now in the pressure cooker, after you turn on the heat and add a little water and put on the lid, the water molecules then begin to speed up and collide faster. And because they're colliding faster, the water begins to evaporate. And with the evaporation, it causes fast collisions and fast collisions. And because they're colliding faster, it causes a higher pressure. And since higher pressure moves to lower pressure, if you place the styrofoam cup into the high pressure pressure cooker, it squeezes the air pockets and makes it really small and that results in the shrunken styrofoam cup. Con los terroristas. Harlem shit.